in times of trouble, in the midst of chaos, one voice still remains supreme, and that is the voice of Jehovah. For there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. In this very short moment, the hand of the Lord is about to touch someone and bring healing, deliverance, and power. Let he who has ears listen to the voice of Jehovah. God bless you. Hello, welcome to the Voice of Revival. Quickly, to all senior high school leavers, to all graduates, senior high school graduates, please, uh, I would like you to grant me just a few moments of your time and listen to this very important announcement. Uh, trust me, some of you, this announcement me, will mean a whole lot to you by the time I'm done. And some of you, it is, it might be a litmus test. It might be the, the last ingredient you need to survive in this short period of time. What am I talking about? Please, those of you who were a Christian executives back at school, those of you who handled certain positions back at school i'm talking of the um, whether you were a senior prefect whether you handled any position at all when you were back in college or in senior high school this message is for you please don't play with what i'm about to talk to you about because some of you it will mean life to you and some of you it might mean the rest of the 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 the, 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 the distraction of your life it might lead you to a place where you will never recover from what am I talking about? When I was in bed, the Lord revealed something to me. I saw in the realms of the spirit, a beast has been released. And the beast was carrying a whole lot of items and luggages with him. And when it was moving, wherever it got to, it dropped these luggages. And whoever that this luggage got in contact with, I saw the spirit of compromising. And I asked the Lord, that, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord said to me that very soon, the enemy has released a beast called compromising called conspiracy a beast is coming for some of these senior high school christian executives who are at home hearing the sound of my voice right now you can play with it i don't i don't have any problem i am a prophet the lord has given me a message put a word in my mouth and about what i'm releasing to you right now please please what should you do some of you have to be very careful because the very thing you dreaded the very thing you spoke against the very thing that you you didn't give a, um, a time or considered to you preach some of you preach against most of these things i'm talking about these very things are coming after you some of you preach against pornography, some of you preach against lust, some of you talked um, vehemently against some social vices. And this very same thing, the enemy has sent a beast to come after you because you have touched what you are not supposed to touch and you have destroyed so many things. And the Lord has sent me as a prophet to send you a reinforcement through this message that please, please, be very careful the kind of places you go once you're at home now. Now, you, there's no prayer meetings as you used to have on campus. Now, there's no uh, um, um, fasting and prayers. Now, you have the liberty to eat any food you want. You have the liberty to watch any movie you want. Be very careful. Ephesians 5.16 says that, See that you walk therefore circumspectively, not as unwise, but as wise people, redeeming the time for the days are evil. Please, you are at a very strategic time in your life. You can't afford to joke with this message. Those of you who were Christians and executives back on campus, the enemy is coming after some of you. It will be surprising. Some of you might not have gone to any pool party before. By the time your results come, some of you, the state that you'll be in, you will dread it. And the Lord has sent me as a messenger to sound this alarm. And he gave me a word in, in, in 2 Timothy chapter 
second second timothy chapter 2 and read it quickly 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 second timothy chapter 2 verse 19 the bible declares that the foundation of the lost and is sure it has inscription on it that the lord knoweth those who are his and let them that name the name of the lord so what the one more when they go putting pain if you have lifted your voice and mentioned the name of the lord before then the lord is telling me to tell you that depart from iniquity because iniquity is coming after some of you it is coming with a force that as i saw in the vision i couldn't help it but with the, the grace of the lord i was commanded to come and give you this warning please please galatians chapter 5 verse 1 declares that stand fast therefore in the liberty where which christ has made us free and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage let me speak in a local dialect as I end this short message. Please, at any ramification, at any instance, that the word of the law is coming to you this short period. That please stand fast. By the time you realize you are at a place where you would never thought of being in such a place, some of you, the very things you preach against is coming after you. The word of the Lord has come unto us. Let he who has ears listen to the voice of Jehovah and depart from iniquity. My name is Prophet David, and I pray that this message meets you well. God bless you. Let's meet again another time. Bye-bye.